The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing. The man is known simply as the excellence of execution. And his partner from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235. The Beast is here. Time for a beatdown, cowboy style. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds. superstars who don't play well with others, you really need to find a way to properly mix your skills with your partners. Boom, right the button. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Oh, my goodness! Boom! Running FTO plants him. 
Nicely done. Uh oh, this is not going to end well. Big time power. Hits over the garlic super. What impact. And he gets delivered back into the ring. And now thrown back into the ring. Ooh. Shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. There he goes, right into the corner. <laughs> Vader gets tagged in. Just like that, Goldberg turns things around. Tag made. Boom, right across the small of the back. No, oh, that'll let him break his arm. Vicious. He's got the answer for that one. What's the move? <laughs> oh, strong knee connects. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Oh, Lesnar from behind. Uh oh. Arm drag provides an escape. Lesnar cuts him off. Hoist it up. Bang. Snap suplex. I don't think any of these superstars are going to help me to end it here. This is it. What does it take to keep this monster down? All the punishment he's taken, and yet he's still in this match? These two showing how well scouted they each are. Measured elbow drop driven down. some damage already. Knee to the gut creates separation. He's turning the tables. Ooh, saw it coming and hit him with a shot to the face. Suplex launched. And there's the cover. This started as a match. Now it's a test of will. And tagged in as Goldberg. Tag made. Tag made. Goldberg sees the finish. Uh -oh. Just a nasty headbutt. Punishing their opponent. A loving blow to the chest.
Taking flight. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Oh! There's electricity running through this arena right now. Will it be the spark for one of these competitors? Incredible to think, after everything we've witnessed, we are still at a stalemate. Oh. Here he comes off the tag. Off the top, Buckles. What's he gonna do? From the top. Nobody home. their opponent in belly to belly. Top pro putting it all on the line. Wow. Unbelievable Vader suck. That spells trouble for Lesnar. Gets 
hits him with the counter. Lesnar looking to bait his opponent into making a mistake. That looks bad. The blood on Goldberg's face is making me weak to my stomach. Taking up the legs, taking up the ability to create separation. Struggle for these competitors to find an end to this match. But the struggle's worth it. With every move you make, you hear this capacity crowd following you on that journey. And here is Vader in off the tag. one of the most powerful brawlers in WWE history. This is going to be good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. The whole effing show. And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds. Guys, I know we're all excited when we saw those initials on the card tonight. R.V.D. Rob Van Dam is one of the most exciting superstars to ever step through the ropes. I can rattle off his list of achievements, but anyone who doesn't know what R.V.D. has done has been living under a rock. Anyone who watches RVD is certainly in for a show tonight. The whole damn show. And in there with him, Farouk, a collegiate athlete turned sports entertainer. Farouk's name appears in multiple halls of fame. And with Farouk's athleticism and power, his career has spanned decades. From his blue helmet to the APA, Farouk has always been a feared opponent. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match. Uh 
Uh-oh, submission move. Fujiwara on board. I'm going to tap. Trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. Oh, this is not going to be good. Oh. Impact Buster! There are many words that come to mind when the name Rob Van Dam gets brought up. Perhaps the biggest one is reckless. Uh, where some see recklessness, I see a superstar who has no fear. There are few things scarier than fighting a man with no fear. So no, I wouldn't call RVD reckless, Cole. From the top! Diving thrust kick! And that leeches some power out of Farouk. RVD displaying that artillery of exciting offense. Leg breaker! Turning the tables! Big time clothesline. Good grief. Nice counter from Van Dam. What's he about to do? And he's able to fight Van Dam off. Big impact off the leg drop. He turns it around. Down on the opponent. And will this be it? Wow, oh, he kicked out. Wow. Big forearm. Oh, DDT. Van Dam now going to the top. From the top. Kick connects from the top. He's absorbing some tough hits now. And I guarantee RVD will still have more innovative offense as this match goes on. Oh, landing awkwardly. Van Dam has just taken command. And RVD on the attack, showing he's more fearless than reckless, Cole. Able to interrupt the attack. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. A drive to prove who really has the upper hand here. Their competition can really bring out the best of people, and I think we will be seeing that from them here and beyond. Smart attacking the arm. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. RVD! Five-star frog splash! The Rook's in serious danger. Believe me, this superstar realizes... The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Grayson Waller. And his opponent, accompanied by Umaga, representing the Bloodline. Theory here, a superstar who loves to get under his opponent's skin, loves to just grind their gears. Look, Cole, Theory can't help it if he's just so... Look at it, catch him off guard. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. Not even a two count for him. Up across the shoulders. TKO! Shoulders down for the count. He isn't going to go away that easy. He manages to escape it. Shot after shot. Oof, ruthless striking. Vicious right forearm. Oh, did you hear that? Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Stop in the leg. Fury is out of the way. Corey, we've seen Solo Sokoa get a bit hot, as it were, during matches before. He's a superstar who gets easily agitated and irritated more often than not. How do you think that's going to affect him here in this one? 
Well, hopefully, he doesn't let it affect him here, Cole. The last thing Sokoa needs to do here is be a hothead and let his emotions drive him, as that could spell disaster for him. Cool, calm, and collected is the name of the game, and Sokoa would do well to remember that. Momentum clearly on the side of Sokoa. Sokoa playing it cool, calm, and collected here, keeping his emotions in check and just getting down to business. I'm on the shoulders. Down in a hurry. Sokoa showing no fear up there. From the top. Just nothing but air. Side. This could get wild. And Theory able to adapt. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, 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 compressing them with a splash. Driving a knee into the arm. And Theory was unable to outmaneuver that hit. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Theory is bleeding profusely now. That'll either wake you up or knock you out. Oh, he retaliates. Yeah. And a clothesline. Theory struggling to defend himself. Solo's really on top of his game right now. From the top. of a second shot after shot Ooh, ruthless striking good timing with that reversal oh he's got him up high <laughs> oh, slam. catching an elbow to the side of the face to the midsection. He's just getting beaten on all fronts here. This is a very dangerous situation now. Placed in the corner. Goes around the corner by Theory. Leaping into it. This is it. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. This deep into a match is where trouble rises, where injuries may occur. You got kick to the gut. I have a theory what's coming next. Oh, the taxi out. Can Theory close this? There's two. What in the world? I thought once he executed that, it was good night. You have to wonder how much more can he take? And for a silver spoon kid like Theory, you have to think he's getting more frustrated by the second. Yeah. The admiration for these superstars. Winding up. Boom! Samoan style. Will that keep Fury grounded? Samoan Sakura gets it. Here is your winner. Solo Sakura. The Alpha Academy is open for business. We're about to see a clinic. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. The wild card of the Brawley Brutes. Yeah, Cole, this dude's definitely not playing with a full deck. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 200. At... And a 
former Olympian is Chad Gable, an athlete in the mold of some of the greatest amateur wrestlers we've ever seen in WWE. It's a big reason he calls himself the master. Well, Gable's what the old heads would call a shooter. Just an intrinsic knowledge of the sport and a perfect blend of the amateur and pro games. And for your information, Cole, the master isn't a nickname. It's a title that he earned. Uh, thank you. Yeah, right, silly me, how could I forget? Yeah, I mean, that's all well and good, but he's basically been thrown into the dog kennel here against Butch. Ain't gonna be nothing pretty about what Butch does here. Once he gets you in his sights, there is very little that can be done to stop him. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Superstars in WWE, Corey. Well, size has never been a concern of Butch's Cole. He... A clubbing blow to the back of the neck, followed by a back super. He goes for the quick pin attempt. Only getting one out of that pin. Probably knew that wasn't going to be enough at this stage, but every time you cover your opponent, you make them kick out. Every kick out exerts energy. Such a spirit and assault from Gable. Just attack after attack from Gable. A powerbomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. How humiliating, just kicks to the face. Taking flight. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Big clothesline. Uh-oh. He moves just in time. Elbow smash! Oh my God, into a powerbomb. That was one of those powerbombs that would shorten someone's career. He got whipped into that corner. Oh, kick right to the side of the face. I am afraid of what we are about to see! Spike into the ring apron. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Close line! Oh, that'll leave a mark. Moves outside. What's the plan here? And he gets sent back into the ring. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Boom! Oh, they clutch their opponent's wrist, and look at this. And this is just next level brutality. Enable the counter. Takedown. <laughs> oh, the helicopter spin. This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. Only into a monkey flip. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Bang it back with their own count. Fisherman suplex. Oh, no. Right to the back of the neck. He's having a little worry now. Yeah, it's Gable once again proving just how effective the teachings of Alpha Academy can be. from Gable. 
You can't argue with a move as pretty as that. Butch needs to cause some separation. Finds a counter for Gable. Butch finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down. Oh, submission move for Jordan. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do. Trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. rookie in the women's division. And I'm sensing an edge to it. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Chicago. We are about to see a martial arts masterpiece. Both on the ramp. And in the ring. And from Chongqing, China, Zaya. the record to say she hates vultures in this business and has made it her mission to stand up and take them down. Yeah, she does so with an aggression that is especially impressive for a competitor of her size. It's like they say, Byron, it's not the size of the dog in the fight. And she's facing up against one of WWE's shrewdest competitors in Cora Jade. That shrewdness, as you put it, Saxton, is what it takes to succeed in WWE. I know it, you know it, and Cora Jade knows it. She's built a tremendous foundation for success. Pinpointing the leg. Punishing the leg. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. Sent into the corner. Stomping away. She's got the shoulders down. Slips the shoulder up. Still too early in this match. Ooh, elbow strike. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. Zaya gets out of the way. Brought down with a roundhouse. And then one to the gut. Zaya Lee can be so dangerous with her strikes and kicks. Absolutely, Cole. That's why you've got to cut her off at the pass before she can really get going. Don't engage in her striking match against Zia Lee because chances are you'll lose. Oh, sit-out slam. That seemed to have rocked Cora Jade's foundation. Yeah, that self-righteous aggression of Zia Lee was certainly shining through there. Oh, straight forearm. Stomp to the leg. Delivered into the barricade. Fed's press takes him down. And surely 
she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. She hits the opposition hard, but still can't get the fall. Strong counter from Jane. Great agility on display. Cora Jane pulled no punches, delivering that offense. On the tie. She misses the mark. She's looking drained, Cole. I don't know how much is even left in her. Time to fire. Zaya got it. Can she end it? Try to end it. And a major victory in her career tonight. Here is your winner, Zaya Lee. Wow. Just wow. A tremendous win in this match. After this win, you cannot question the heart and determination of this superstar. Well said, Byron. I don't think anyone will be questioning that from now on. <laughs>